Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is January the 1st, 2024. I just went down to do chores. And there's a miracle, like an actual miracle in our barn. Ellie, Ruby, come! Sophie's still sleeping, they stayed up till 2 a.m. because they were partying last night. And when you're 16 and 14, partying means playing virtual reality with your friends. <laughs> so they were doing that. Come on! So let's back up for a second. Last night, you guys know our goose got attacked. And I don't know what it was. I think it's probably a raccoon. We couldn't see it on the camera because you have to trigger the cameras. You have to walk in front of the cameras to trigger them. So whatever it was was small. The cameras are high didn't trigger it, but I think it had to have been a raccoon. I don't think a cat would attack our goose. Anyway, I, I we came out at, we came out in the middle of the night, Sophie and I, to check him and he's doing fine. He seems fine. But I'm nervous about the whole thing. Nervous to let my animals free. It happened between four and six, happened, happened, between, happened between two and four p.m. Two and four. All right, so I walked in this morning and the first thing I did was look in at him because I was so like nervous and I'll show you guys what I saw. So, oh, you can't see. Do you see it? You can't see it, we're gonna go in. All right, do you guys see it? I saw that. Ellie, stay back. We've been waiting for so long to get an egg. My duck and my goose are staying in today because I'm too paranoid. But that's breakfast, babies. <laughs> Look at how huge it is. I can't believe you did that. You're such a good girl. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a good girl. <laughs> You're not going outside, though. So I'm gonna give him some more antibiotics and I'm gonna clean his cuts, well, he, where his scratches again and put more cream on them. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I cry now all the time. Like, I just teared up when I saw this egg. I teared up because it's exciting. I teared up because it's a miracle. Like when animals lay eggs, it's a miracle. Even though it might not seem like it, it's a mini miracle. I, I look at it as a miracle. And because Sophie's gonna be so excited. I don't know, that was amazing. She could have laid an egg any day, but she took January 1st to lay her first egg. I'm taking that as a sign from God that it's gonna be a good year. That's what I'm gonna believe. Like, it just makes me wanna cry. Out you go, pregnant ladies. Out you go, baby and boy. He's gonna go right to that, oh, he didn't. Get that little belly on him. The baby stays in. It's our routine. She stays in. I let her eat what's left in the big girl's buckets. Oh, how'd you get out? So see how they have some left? So she stays in and she eats that. And the reason I do that is because I don't always know how much she gets because she's the low man on the totem pole. So I always want to make sure she's getting what she needs. So she eats that little bit that's left over. Also, the boys and the girls get different food and she's a baby so she really needs the girl food to grow and develop. So I only can feed her boy food in her stall because she's with a boy. And so I let her eat like a little bit of the girl stuff after, the, after I let everybody out. Anyway, it is a miracle. Today is a miracle. And I want you guys, to, I want to encourage you guys to go out every day this year, every single day, and find the many miracles and look from the signs from God. It's so hard when you're just going about life thinking that you're <clears throat> thinking that you're alone and that you don't have any help or any guidance. But if you just follow the signs and you talk to God and you tell him what you need or what you're looking for. There's some scratches on my goat, I think. I'm gonna have to get Sophie to help me look at her. Anyway. <laughs> Look for the miracles. God is always talking. God is always talking. He's always directing us. He's always leading us and just follow along. It's only when you learn to listen 
that God can really enter your life and really help you through the hard times. And to be very specific, it's when you start listening and following God's direction that the hard times start to go away because instead of making mistake after mistake after mistake, you're just following His plan for you and it makes all the difference in the world. And I hope that that makes sense to somebody out there today and I hope that somebody needed to hear it because it's a brand new year and it's a brand new you. It's an opportunity to change anything that you don't like about yourself and become a better person. And we have duck eggs. <laughs> we have duck eggs. I'm honestly so paranoid now. But do you guys see on the back end of her? It could be that the boy was just trying to mount her and mess up her fur, but I'm paranoid of scratches now. Raccoons have very dirty claws. They're into everything, and so it makes me nervous if any of our animals have got like a puncture or a scratch. That's why we have our goose on antibiotics now. She seems really interested in the boy, like just hanging out with him and being with him, so I don't know if he tried to mount her. I can't check her by myself. She's our only one wild goat, our wildest goat. Come on, Ellie, let's go upstairs. Let's go up and make everybody breakfast or at least show them the egg that we have for breakfast. I'm gonna come back down in, in a very short amount of time. I tried to give the duck his medicine today and Ellie came in and it, this was a disaster. So I cleaned him, cleaned his cuts. They're like, why aren't we going out? You're not going out, sorry. <laughs> the, goat, the duck is really mad. Um, anyway, I cleaned everywhere. He had a scratch. You can't even see the scratches today. Hopefully I'm just extra paranoid, but I know what germs can do. And we love him, like absolutely adore him. I'm really starting to come around to the dock. She's never been my favorite, but this might make that change. I'm gonna check all the horses today too, because I don't know what happened. I don't know what came onto our property. All I know is that something did. So we're just gonna check everybody over. That's our New Year's goal for today. But welcome to today's video and happy new year to all of you guys. <laughs> you guys our chickens are all having a bath this morning I don't know if you can see they're rolling around in the dust see <laughs> is Sophie up no. I wonder didn't know if she wanted me to make her breakfast the duck egg yeah <laughs> <laughs> just for reference our silky chicken egg and our duck egg. I don't want Sophie to hear. I want her to be surprised. Hey, um, do you, I need you to help me with the goose today. I can't give him his medicine. Love Sophie's oh. news. I want to you know if you want me to make you breakfast. Is this Lucy's? <laughs> yeah, you missed it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You got duck egg. <laughs> Sophie's the only one who really appreciates it like me. Oh my God. Doesn't that make you want to cry? I want to cry. I want to eat it. Yeah. Wait, I want to show it to Gabby first. Love that shirt on you though. It's adorable. It's I love her with a high necked hoodie. I know. I went down there. I just started crying. I just I looked in there and I'm like, is that an egg between her feet? She must have just laid it and stood up. Isn't yeah, it huge? Mail. I know. I think she wanted to lay on it. She was not happy. I took it. We need a mail. Oh, I think we should keep those first. Like. Well, I'm gonna hatch them. I know. So we can have maybe Lucy's running. Yeah, or I know. Or let her hatch them. Well, them. actually, we our friends have a mail. We could just borrow it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. After Leo gets fixed up. Also, I think that one of the goats has marks on it. I can't tell, but it looks like a goat has scratches. The white oh, one. one. White mom. Tilly? Uh-huh. So she, I need you. Okay. She rams everything that she thinks is a danger, like that thing. Yeah, like that little thing. <laughs> and those things. My yeah. dog won't go down. And warm. those things, she yeah. Better. Yeah, she's getting warm though. But anyway, I was gonna surprise you, but she spied it in my hand. Well, it was suspicious that you were standing, sitting there. With the camera on, she comes out of the bathroom and instantly on camera. So I love that hoodie though. Like it is gorgeous on you. The dad see? Yeah. So I actually want to give the goats our tree, but some of the things that I read said that this can make them have an abortion or a miscarriage. So, so I'm too scared. So once you guys have your babies. You once they it. have their babies. So I put the trap up and I put a meatball from yesterday. So if it's a raccoon, we'll catch it. I don't think it's a raccoon though. People are saying from, uh, from the, 
People are saying from the vlog, it's probably a bird of prey and it makes sense to me because he probably tried to pick him up and he probably tried to run in here and then he probably, it probably dropped him. All of his marks are around his head. He probably picked him up and flew down there and then dropped him down there. No, if, there was- If there was a big struggle here, the camera would have- Picked it up and our camera didn't get triggered. Didn't get triggered, so. So, like, look at those feathers. Are they his feathers? They How did his- like his feathers, but- how could it, like they're gray, but how could his feathers get on this side of the fence? He couldn't get and over he here. look like he's losing feathers. I mean, these feathers are tiny though. So it could have been, they could be his feathers. I mean, I don't know. Like some of it is like really it's, tiny. Yeah. I don't know how his feathers. And how did they get back? If something picked up, he probably tried to pick them up and dropped them and then dropped all the feathers out of his talons on that side of the down. fence. I don't know. I, don't, I think it was a bird of prey though. It had to have been. Like, oh, hi Gracie. Like, Last time I got starfish kids. Can I have more? Yeah, Sylvia so was out here playing with the horses this morning. She wanted Willow to drunk the Christmas tree. Did oh, Will she did. <laughs> she was so happy to do it too. So I told her she couldn't do it outside and why I'm not riding is because the ground is really hard and it's really rutted. So I definitely don't want to hurt my horse by riding on uneven like bad footing and it's just bad right now. It's all frozen. Look, she can't come with the other, she can't come with the other goats because they'll be mean to her. <laughs> Look at how cute. She wants to be a part of the goats, though. <laughs> They're like, Where, what are we doing now, guys? Where are we going? What's happening? They're like... <laughs> Wait, go through that way. Hey, easier. don't headbutt people. That's rude. Like, I don't even think she was... Yeah, I don't even see the marks anymore. <laughs> They're like, what's happening? <laughs> Why are they watching the door? <laughs> That's so funny. I'm gonna give Leo his antibiotic. I added extra water into their stall today. And I'm gonna mix some, some molasses in it because I do not know if this is gonna work out. Cause anytime Leo thinks you're hurting Lucy, wait, listen. Okay, hold on. Oh. To get on me. Oh. oh, a little bit more. Uh. This is fixing you, dude. Oh, 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 happy that we're in here messing with. Oh, look at your blue eyes. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are. I'm gonna top up their water. You aren't taking I hate leaving them inside, but until we figure something out, we're gonna probably do it in the morning. We're gonna probably get spiky vests for them, so if somebody tries <laughs> to pick them up, they can't. get spiked. Yeah, somebody wants to put armor on them. <laughs> Like food here. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'll take some food. Listen, I put all fresh food out there for you today. It's all hay. I eat hay all day, but I still want more food. Oh my gosh. Who is doing that? I'm trying to jump the gate. Jesus. It's too early to come in. Wow, they ate a lot of hay already. Eat more hay. That's why you guys are fat. Be nice to other people's babies. Soon you're going to have new babies and you're going to want people to be nice to your babies. You want to put them in early? All right, it's four. We usually try and put them in around five, but they're looking like they want to Did come Lola in. Did Lola just open that? Yeah, Lola just opened this door herself. She's like, yes, put us in. Um, we're gonna Ooh, do yeah. chores and get everybody okay, situated for the night. I haven't really checked comments for a long time because of the holiday and being busy and doing so many other things, but I've been doing comments this morning or this afternoon and oh my gosh, you guys, I missed you. I didn't even realize how good you guys are for my soul. Like, you guys teach me so much just in one word. Like, I don't even know how we didn't think of a bird of prey. I think because it was in the barn. She's instantly happy. Yeah, she loves her people. 
But anyway, I just want to say Happy New Year. And thank you guys so much for all your love and all your kindness and all your support. And I'm excited to share some changes that we're going to make in the new year. But that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on the very first day of the year. Also, I take pride in the fact that I know so many of you guys by name and by personality and I can tell just by reading a comment who it's from and that gives me a lot of happiness in, my, in myself because I love that I've been able to get to know you guys. Tomorrow you're waking me up to collect the egg that I'm going yes. to bed. No, it's tonight. You guys are January 1st. It's time for you guys to go to bed. 10 p.m. No, yeah. it's not school week yet. I don't care. 10 p.m. No. Chores. Chores and animals and chores. Don't you know that you're beautiful?